Oh, we've got cool sun effects today. Look at that. Don't even need a filter or anything. Absolutely beautiful. Good morning. Good morning, everybody. Uh, I'm just getting up. It's about 6, 6 a.m. We got 426 miles to Oklahoma City. Hopefully my pickup is ready. And uh, from there, we will start heading towards uh, Flagstaff. Is that too bright? I don't know. I don't know. We're kind of blocking out my face and I'm getting old anyway. So what's the point of looking at me? Who get who wants to do that? So anyways, yeah, that's the plan for today. We'll see how that all goes. Um, last night was, uh, well, I didn't do anything but st stay in the truck, but I kind of had a good time. Kind of had a good time. Not really, but kind of. I started up my video game for a while and played that and that's always fun I don't get to do that every night uh, that chicken though remember the chicken I was so proud of at home I had all the chicken the drumsticks uh, was miserable to cook on the little foreman grill I have just absolutely miserable because they were just they're just too thick um, and uh, so what I had to do was like cook them as much as I could and then take them out and then like let them cool because they were very hot to touch let them cool off a little bit then rip all the chicken from the bone and then throw all the all the pieces of chicken back on the uh, foreman because uh yeah you don't want to be eating not cooked chicken that's how you vomit all over the inside of your truck and and shit all over the inside of your truck so uh we didn't want to go down that road so we did not <clears throat> but it took a very long time to cook. Very long time. Um, <laughs> I'm so dumb. I still haven't figured out my pillow situation. I don't uh, like to spend money if I don't have to, as we've been talking about. like That's why I went shopping for the truck instead of going in to buy stuff all day, every day. I've got a goal I'm trying to get to, right? So I haven't solved my pillow situation yet. Um, and it's been a little uncomfortable. And this morning I got up, I'm like, okay, I got 45 points at Love's. I'm gonna, maybe they have one. Maybe they got one. I just get a free one with points. Cause I use points for stuff I need for the truck. Why not? And those points add up pretty quickly. So I went in and realized I was standing in a pilot well, that didn't do me any good because I got no points there. So maybe we'll figure that out today when I see a loves. We'll figure out my pillow situation. <laughs> so stupid. So dumb. And I think I left my jacket at home too. I mean, it's not really jacket time of year, but it was a little bit chilly when I got out this morning. Nothing too bad. It like started warming up really quick. But anyways, guys, yeah, that's really it for today. It's just, it's just trucking, baby. It's just trucking. So, uh, we'll get out there and get that done. Um, I, uh, I, I should buy a, uh, tire thumper and make sure from now on I get a running start and I smack that tire with all my might to make sure that I'm doing proper pre-trips from now on. You know, what's funny about that is I actually do, uh, pre-trip my truck. Now, it's not like this crazy thorough thing that, you know, you would get tested on, right? But I am literally the only person I see um, in truck stops. Now, not that I watch everyone all day and know what everyone's business is, but I am literally the only person I ever see walk around my truck, lights flashing, you know, checking things. And um, <laughs> so, uh, <laughs> So our, our guy from last night who has, uh, has um, demoted me to Bonehead Trucker, he's probably one of these guys that just starts the truck up and rolls down the road and hopes for the best. But then when he sees somebody isn't properly checking the tire pressure, he is quick to call it. <laughs> and, and for anybody, the guy was joking with me, um, I think, because I was starting to get mad in the comments. I'm like, this guy's being a real dick. And he's like, dude, I'm just kidding. I love your videos and uh, I'm just giving you a hard time. And I was like, oh man, I'm sorry. I do that sometimes because I am so used to, I don't know if this is a like this guy trucks phenomena, phen phenomena, does that end with an A or an N, phenomenon? I don't know, but I have watched literally thousands of people that like would watch all my videos and be like oh my god I love your videos and then one day they see like a minor thing they didn't like in the video or disagreed with and then they just lose it on me and they then then next thing you know you see them traveling around to other channels like doxing me <laughs> or or you see them like going to other channels being like I I hate this guy trucks and it's all because like things like that right I didn't 
check the tire the proper way and all of a sudden they would love to see me face down in a ditch and uh, all they can think is how great the world would be if I was dead and they're mad because of a minor thing like that. Uh, not to poke fun at the guy, but I remember, I can't remember the name of the guy, but he came back to this channel and he said, you know, Josh, I, I used to love your videos and then I really started to hate you. And it was because you made fun of the uh, big trucker headsets. And I guess that speaks to, we've got way too much time to sit around in our trucks and just think about things when we're like, did that guy really, did he really make a, a joke? about giant headsets that we wear and then he just sits there through the day getting madder and madder about it and he's like that son of a bitch i hate him oh i hate him and uh i've seen this thousands of times so it turns out i think the guy was just joking with me <laughs> and i thought he was another guy that was uh just losing his mind so i had to apologize i don't like apologizing don't put me in a position to apologize to you god damn it i will if i have to but i wish you wouldn't put me in that spot <laughs> anyways guys i'm gonna hit the road knock out these miles we'll talk in a bit good lord i'm a sweaty boy <laughs> oh boy we're getting it done uh but i'm a sweaty fat kid apparently uh i'm having a little problem with my ac up front and sometimes this happens uh, where the, it's still like cold-ish air, but it's not that cold. And if I turn the truck off for a little while, it's fine, right? It'll start back up. But it had to do that today while it's like 90 some degrees out. So I'm hiding in the back trying to get, I got the APU running, trying to get this cooled down. While I'm taking my break, I just swapped trailers, made it to Oklahoma City. My load to Flagstaff is ready. How do you like that? How do you like that? So all we got to do is get out of here once my half hour breaks over in uh, give me a sec, give me a sec. eight more minutes um we've still got about four hours we could drive today so i'll knock out about three of those and we've got it looks like 859 miles to delivery which means we easily make the saturday delivery guys easily and uh that gets this um this delivery this load onto that week's pay so we'll hit about that 3,000 how you like it how you like it and that's actually a pretty good week for how I've been running this week because I haven't been running very hard if I'm being honest with you so that's a really really fantastic week uh, we're we're doing good I've been sleeping in I've been running eight hours eight and a half hour days things like that but everything's been dropping hook not wasting any of my time squeezing in my half hour break while I sit here uh, not bad. Not bad at all. Let me push this on the GPS real quick. He's to highlight and we'll just make sure, yeah. 869 miles to Flagstaff. Damn, son. Looks like we're going to get it done again. We just... All we do is win, I guess. I guess. <laughs> but uh, we got it done. This guy pulled in next to me and didn't give me much room to get out of here. So... I had to stop because there was a trailer right next to me. It was a Swift trailer, and the driver was hooking up to it. And if I would have pulled in here to hook up to my trailer, she wouldn't have been able to get out. Uh, but this guy, well, it's fine. I am taking a half hour break here, sitting here dicking around. So I guess he needed to get to work. It's fine. I think I'll have room to get out of here if I need it. But hey, guys, there we go. Uh, we're doing it again. Going to have a good week. I was worried that uh, this might have to wait till Sunday to deliver because. It was not supposed to load till like 7 p.m. tonight. Well, by then, I'm in bed. You know, I'm not going to hang around here. That's for damn sure. So I was just going to come back tomorrow morning, grab it, and uh, get out of here. But it's already done. So, hey, you'll take the wins when you get them out here. That's uh, They're not always easy to get. They're not always easy to get. I'm sorry I'm so fat and sweaty. But uh, it's been hot up there. So hopefully when I start the truck back up, uh, that AC will uh, get its shit together and uh, we can cool off a little bit because it has been absolutely brutal. Uh, I mean, it's still kind of cool air, but it's just not enough. It's just not enough. It's done that twice on me so far. And uh, obviously, if it's a thing that's going to be a problem, I'm, I would have it fixed. But both times I've uh, stopped the truck for a little while, turned it off you know go take a shower or whatever and i come back and it's working just fine so we're just hoping for that and uh that's just that's about it that's that's how the day's going so far so um <laughs> 
I'm happy it's loaded. I mean, that's awesome. I, I guess hanging around Oklahoma City wouldn't have been the worst thing in the world. It's hot though. It ain't gonna be any any cooler in Arizona. I'll tell you that. Ain't gonna be any cooler over there. So yeah, I'm gonna finish off my break and uh, kind of sit back here in the cool air for a little while, kind of get my body temperature down and uh, get back on the road. And I'll talk to you guys here in a bit. We'll see what else we get into. All right, what's going on, guys? You'll have to forgive me for uh, not getting a video out yesterday. Please forgive me. I just didn't really feel like it. I'm like, yeah, what's there to really talk about? So I skipped a day. I took a day off. So hope you don't mind that that's what I've done. But uh, that was it. Just wasn't really feeling it. I am happy to report that my pillow problem has been solved. I have a pillow. Look. Yeah. And then when I get the one at home, I'll have two pillows. So I just use Love's Points. Free pillow which is great. Tonight will be my first night sleeping with my brand new pillow. It's been miserable trying to tuck some blanket under my head and cover up with the blanket and stay in that position all night. And now there's something in my eye. Uh, I'm just having a rough go at life right now, I guess. <laughs> I guess that's what's happening. But uh, yeah, it's been pretty rough, but we have got it solved. So what else do we got going on? Uh, I was excited. Uh, I think that was earlier in this video. I think so, because we're gonna gonna finish this uh, load to um, Flagstaff tomorrow. And uh, they did something kind of interesting. Now this is, I don't know, it's not my business. I remember when I was an owner operator and a lease operator, this stuff would have made me go crazy, but they did something really weird. They said, when you get to Flagstaff, drop your trailer there. They said bobtail to Albuquerque to pick up a trailer and we'll let you know from there. And I said, okay, cool. So waiting for a while and I hear something from them. Once I get to Albuquerque to grab an empty trailer, I have to go back to Oklahoma City to get that trailer loaded for a load going to Denver. So it's like Flagstaff basically to Oklahoma City empty. Um, not how I would do it and it did stress me out at first but then I remembered oh yeah I get paid for all this so we we get the 3,000 miles like we wanted to and then it's like 300 some miles back to Albuquerque which will fall on that pay period because it's broke up into two different moves for some reason uh so we'll clear 3,300 for the week look at that and we haven't really worked hard this week at all I mean we're working within our parameters so that we can just kind of keep recapping in the event we need to but as far as like running hard and stuff like that not at all today this morning i was up super early finally uh up at 2 a.m to get my stuff done i mean it's only uh 1 30 here right now and uh i did 530 some miles or something like that i don't even remember something like that but um hey we'll get in our our good mileage this week uh which is good uh if anyone cares i don't know if anyone cares the health insurance started the wife's happy and uh so she can get started on all that stuff so Hey, now we got to bang those miles out, you know, but it is pre-tax, pre-tax, which I think most places are. So it's not really like a big deal or anything like that. But hey, you know what? That's just what's going on in my life uh, right now. Um, not much else. Um, I don't know how much I'll play this, but I, I've been uh, playing Lineage 2. Like it plays itself for the most part for any of my MMO dorks out there. It's very old. It's like 20 years old, and I don't know that it has much point to it anymore. But if there's anyone interested, it could be more of a like social thing. We can chat in there and stuff. But if, if anyone's interested, I know it's a long shot, and it's cool if no one is. But what would be cool is if we could get 30, 40, 50 people that wanted to play. And then, you know, I could start a clan, but you guys would probably outlevel me and stuff. But... Um, We'll worry about that later. If there's interest in it, um, let's say 20 people say, hey, yeah, yeah, I'd like to play in the comment section here. Then maybe I'll put up a community post once I figure it out how to create a clan and all that. And then we can start building from there. And then if we start taking it seriously, we'll just keep trying to build it out. But it's a, not a very populated game. So really if 20, 30 of us got in there and like 
figured out how to do really good at it, we could probably dominate the server. It'd take a while though, because it's a very grindy game. But just think, if there's interest, I'm not going to worry about it if there's not. Um, but if there is interest, then uh, I would be happy to set up something like that. However, I don't play like every day. Um, since it mostly plays itself, I'll turn it on every other day or so. And uh, like, I'll let it play when I go to bed, you know. But if there's interest, let me know. Let me know. I'll shut up on that because I do have a sort of a topic I wanted to discuss today um, and for you guys that are already truck drivers it's kind of going to be like a dumb question but uh, for any new person that's like maybe looking at trucking somebody that's looking for a new job and they're looking at trucking well now you're going to be pissed at me because it took me 15 minutes to get to the point so it's a lose-lose for everyone here <laughs> nobody's nobody's winning anything but a quick thing I've been thinking about is uh you know People are really worked up about the economy and oh my God, the sky is falling and what are we going to do and all these things. We're going into a recession and all this stuff. And to be honest, I don't really know. And I don't care anyways, to be really honest with you. If uh, burped a little bit, if we go into a recession, fuck it. That's just the way it goes, right? I'm not even the slightest bit concerned with that. Uh, I figure if it's something like that, then we're all in it together and, uh, well, we'll just figure it out, right? But a lot of people look to uh, like the trades and uh, especially though transportation, trucking, when they think of recession proof, right? And there was a long time when I was younger and probably more naive. Sorry, I keep looking over. I'm watching my gameplay itself. <laughs> but anyways, when I was more naive, where I honestly thought trucking is recession recession proof and the reason that everybody would give uh is the same reason i would give because people always need stuff right now those of us that have been it been in it especially on the business side of it over the last couple years uh we have seen very much so that it is not uh, recession proof. So there's your answer done over just like that but it really isn't and the only reason i'm bringing that up is because it's one of the easiest jobs to get into the lowest one of the lowest something to entry there's like a whole phrase that goes with that barriers to entry or something like that i don't remember um i could stand here for three minutes thinking about it because it's only like a three-week school and then you have a cdl as long as you passed and then you can go work if you're going to go over the road you could go work for an over the road company and you're like on the low end like three weeks of training and you're out there solo at that point so six weeks start to finish you are considered to be completely trained in your brand new career field right and uh it's one of the easiest easiest uh professions to get into because the truck can be a little bit intimidating, but it really, really doesn't take long to get a feel for it. Now, I'm not talking about being an expert driver or anything like that, but to get the feel for how to handle a truck really doesn't take a long time to do. And I think that's kind of how we ended up here, where we are, part of how we ended up here in this uh, freight market. And I know we're going to have some like really shit comments just by me saying that and i already know what the shit comments are guys i don't know what to tell you about the the europeans that are here driving and the the um somalians that are here driving it's just i don't know what to tell you i don't know i i don't know and i'm not saying either way if it's good or bad but um there's a lot of anger when it comes to people from different countries here driving trucks not from me but in general so I'm gonna leave that out is the point. The only reason I mentioned it is because I already know there's gonna be shit comments. Um, you can never mention this without having those shitty comments. Um, but <clears throat> I think that's what happened though, part of what happened with the current market because during COVID, a lot of people lost their jobs, right? And they all looked to us and said, you know what, I'm just gonna get out there and truck. And there's just too many goddamn truckers right now. I'm part of the problem, I get it. I could just go do something else, I suppose. Uh, but I didn't, well, I did for a while. But I'm back, bitch, I'm back. <laughs> but um, I, I worry about that, and that's the reason I'm doing this video. Not that a ton of people will see it, It's this video will not go viral. Uh, I say that, because maybe it will. But I, I truly think that 
that message should be out there at this point. If the economy's looking rough and the economy's slowing down, now is not the time to look to trucking and say, hey, I think I'll just go be a trucker because you're gonna get out here and you're, um, I, I mean, there's a lot of companies that have done away with their schools, their training schools, I think. I think, don't quote me on this, Hirschbach had one and they're like, hey, we're just gonna close it for now. I could be wrong about that company, but that's what I think it was. Um, there's a lot of um, companies saying, hey, we just don't need to hire drivers right now. And I honestly feel if you were just coming into it right now, at this very moment, it could end up being a waste of your time. And now you've got a CDL, well, you could use it later. I mean, that's not the worst thing ever. But in this very moment, I think it would be really disappointing for anybody coming into it. Um, I mean, that may be the reason my, my company's doing some wacky shit right now where they're shipping me all over the country without even a trailer because they're like, well, we'll figure it out later. You know, they're, maybe they're scrambling for a load. I don't know. I have no idea. Um, but the point is, if I could ever make a point in any video I've ever made, um, we are very much not recession proof you're right in the sense that people always need stuff a lot of guys go reefer i've done reefer for the same reasoning well people got to eat sure that is absolutely true but people are going to buy less you know if if with the way inflation's going people are just buying less and you think about a lot of these like refrigerated loads you got trailers loaded with ice cream do we really need ice cream no, we can do without, we can do without, you know, and a lot of people are having to make those decisions right now. And it's just overall, it's just this snowball effect that just feels like it's getting worse and worse and worse. And there's so many people out there right now going, well, I could do without this for now. I can do it without that for now. And with that, whatever the population of the country or the world is, everybody doing that just a little bit at a time is causing there not to be that much Great. I am not an expert on these things. That is just my opinion on these things. But uh, I think if we didn't know before, and I would say I didn't know before, because we, when we had a bad economy before, when we've had hard times before, I was always a company driver. This is my first time seeing it up close and personal and going, oh shit, we're not rece recession proof even a little bit. Um, we are not. And I, I do not mean to be a dick to anyone looking at doing this right now. If you're looking at doing this because it's something you've always wanted to do, okay, sure. But if you're looking at doing this because like, you're like, oh, that, 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 they'll always need truck drivers. There will never be a time where, where there's too many truck drivers. We're in that time. We're in that time. There's just too fucking many. Um, we don't need any more. I'm sorry if that comes off like me being a dick but we straight up at this very moment do not need any more. We are not recession proof. The party's over. It'll be back. But for now, no, now ain't the time. Anyways, that's all I wanted to talk about. I'm going to play my game for a little bit and I don't know what else. I have no idea. Talk to you folks soon. Bye now.